Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all My name is Dr. Mak Maizi For this video, we are co continuing in the next topic which is X.5 uh, Joints Member Stiffness okay, All the contents is taken from the Shigley Mechanical Engineering Design Book and all the images here I taken randomly from Google Images and also from that book itself In the previous topic, we are talking about the bolt itself okay now we are talking about bolt and member combining bolt and member what happen when you the bolt is being clamped okay this is the bolt okay and then when it clamp this is have a washer washer and then we will clamp to this any part lah. okay any part that you want to clamp this is uh, say this is a plate okay now we are we are going to discuss what is the uh, stiffness in here 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 and here okay okay gasket what is a gasket gasket is a, a fabric okay made from material such as uh, like paper but it's not a paper okay this is a paper the gasket is a soft material made from material just like a paper okay so so its stiffness is uh, uh, is so small that can be neglected of course you are a uh, gasket you put in clamp between metal and metal okay the bolt head and the nut and you can see gasket when you are opening an engine okay uh, many uh, any engines have gasket and we, you during your assembly of the engine you put the gasket and when uh, you disassemble that engine after so many users uh, you can you must replace that gasket okay gasket uh, or if there is no gasket the stiffness of the member is difficult to obtain if you want to, to determine the stiffness although it is a it is made of fabric like just like a uh, wood uh, just like a paper uh, the importance of gasket because it will distribute the stress among all the members this is uh, this is why gasket is important see so maybe some of you will think uh, why we should put gasket okay but gasket the important is you want to distribute the uh the stress among all the members that is the uh, importance of a uh, gasket there is a researcher named ito you can find the reference of that uh, uh, paper inside this book okay i do not include inside this slide okay this uh, researcher named ito he used ultrasonic techniques to determine the pressure distribution at the member interface the result show that the pressure stays high out of 1.5 volt ready the pressure however falls off rather further away from this bolt okay so it suggests that using Ro Roche's pressure cool method for stiffness calculation with variable cool angle this is quite, method is quite complicated so this, in this textbook the author uh, choose to use a simpler approach to fi uh, fix a cone angle meaning that like this one researcher named Ito they use the method ultrasonic Okay, to determine pressure distribution on the member. Okay, because when you are clamping this ball, the pressure distribute here, 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 everywhere. The pressure distribute. Okay, so uh, they found out that farther away from this ball, okay, maybe let's say at this portion, it's a plate. They want to clamp. You want to clamp plate distribution is less and will be diminished outside outside the clamp area area okay so that is what they are going to call okay so uh, this book uh, will discuss about the simpler method to 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 calculate the pressure distribution at this okay correction of displacement what is the uh, correction of displacement you uh, use let us see this equation the displacement equals to p 
dx over ea do you familiarize with this equation okay this equation is equation of spring okay spring this is a spring okay is uh, my one is entangled okay but i want to show this is a spring and you remember the equation of spring is yeah? basic equation of spring is f equals to kx okay and then this displacement uh, displacement is p the expert ea you, okay and let me remind what is a displacement okay if you if you pull the spring if you compress the spring like this like this okay it will it will displace from axial position okay if you compress it will displace going up and then if we extend it it will ex it will elongate going down okay this is called displacement and this deflection is different deflection is defined as going down like this this is called displacement not to be confused with displacement okay although it shows also like uh, this uh, also like displacement uh, okay the deflection is different definition okay so the area f element is a equals to this which is the area of the bolt itself the area of the bolt if you can measure the area of this bolt okay and this is the equation you get the equation um, from everything then d is the uh, major diameter okay small d is the diameter of the root okay then you can get the displacement meaning that when you want to when you want to tighten up the cone how many millimeter how many cent centimeter it will be compressed and when you uh, when you loosen the bolt how many millimeter it will go up it we of course it, it percentage is so small that you cannot see with your eye but it is has also has displacement okay and then this equation will be uh, uh, derivation and everything from this equation delta go to dx ed and everything in the end you get the equation uh, p equals to k equals to p dx okay uh, p over delta so from the equation this this equation k f equal to k x okay and then you get this equation frust term what is a frust term where is frust term in the spoke okay so now this line is talking about stiffness of frust term okay frust term by definition is actually a cone okay a cylindrical cone okay. when you cut the cone when you cut the cone okay when you cut it in at the uh, upper side of the cone it will become the cone okay like that become the cone like that so this is called the frustum you do not cut at the middle you cut nearly at the up upper side of that uh, cone okay so uh, this is called frustum so how is frustum is related to this okay when you are okay this is about okay when you tighten the bolt okay the force distribute is like this okay the force distribute is like this like frustum upper and lower this is this is called frustum the pressure distribution inside that bolt when you are tightened this is called a uh, frustum okay so do you want to calculate the uh, stiffness of the frustum so stiffness of member km represent by km 
M here. KM. Okay. K equal to stiffness and M equal to member. So, when the, when uh, the joint have the same young modulus. Okay. This bolt made from plastic. Another uh, nut made from plastic. It is have the same young modulus. If this bolt made from steel, another bolt made from the same material, it is also have the same young modulus. Okay. Uh, then this will act as a double, ni, a double spring, spring up and spring down. Okay. Upper and lower spring. Okay. You have, uh, imagine you have two spring, one spring, lower spring, upper spring, lower spring. Okay. Okay, two identical spring. Um, we learn that the, uh, this one member equals to K equal to 2 because you have the two portion. Okay, using grip as uh, L equals to 2T. And remember, what is a grip? What is a grip by definition? Don't be confused with your everyday usage. Okay, grip in a motorcycle, your handle grip, that handle has grip. Okay, of course, you don't want to become slip uh, and when you are riding the motorcycle that handle has, has grip okay in this screw definition the grip is the this portion where is no thread this is called a grip and this is the portion have thread okay this portion don't have thread this is called a grip okay uh, grip equals to 2t uh, T is the uh, thickness of, uh, not the T, not the thickness, but the height of the, ne? and DW is the diameter of the washer face. DW, DW here is the uh, washer, diameter of washer. W here is diameter of washer, okay? And then we can find the spring rate of the members to become the, like this, okay? This is the equation for the spring rate. So be careful with the uh, with KM with DW everything. I advise you when you are reading it, you read it as, as a full sentence, meaning that when you find the word KM, you you spell it with your mouth. Stiffness of member. Don't don't say KM. Say stiffness of member. Until you are familiar with it, then then okay. Now we're talking about stiffness with washer. Okay. Washer, when you are connected washer with the bolt, washer usually the diameter is bigger than uh, the bolt itself. Okay. This is washer. Okay. The diameter, this is, the washer is like a donut. Okay. And then you put the bolt, especially the diameter is larger okay this is the meter is larger okay so the stiffness of the member with a washer is km equal to this equation okay. solving stiffness of member over yam modulus times diameter of the bolt okay yam modulus times diameter of the bolt we get the equation Km, okay, yang uh, stiff of member over yang modulus uh, times diameter of the bolt equals to A exponential B D over L. Okay, what is A? A is the constant that we, we see in the next slide. Uh, constant A and B in defined in table 8, 8. We will see in the next slide. Okay, and then uh, this result will is co coincide with the uh, figure 816. Also, we will see in the next slide. Okay, this we agree with uh, alpha 30 degrees recommendation considered exactly with aspect ratio D over L. Meaning that the angle between the thread, if you count the angle, is 30, 30 degrees. Okay, 30 degrees is standard uh, for many books. Okay, so uh, equation 8, uh, 23 offers a simple calculation for member stiffness. Okay, KM. However, it's very important to note that entire joint must be made from the same material. It is highly recommended that you combine with the same material. Let's say this is plastic, combine with also plastic. Okay? 
if you combine plastic with a uh, bolt with steel bolt plastic will damage if you combine uh, um, the with different material it will damage it will prone to damage what material that is uh, have lower uh, yield strength it may damage first okay so choose choose um, when you go to the workshop when you go you go to the hardware choose the same material for the bolt and the uh, nut okay so we see here in this uh, figure 816 the dimensional core of stiffness uh, aspect ratio members of a bolted joint this agree with 30 degrees uh, alpha okay 30 degrees when you, if you can measure the angle at the thread it is uh, 30 degrees standard uh, okay and a and b is here okay a and b from the uh, from the equation what is a and what is b this is the material used steel aluminium copper grey cast iron and general expression is like, like this this is the poison ratio elastic um, in gpa and modulus and is young modulus this is most commonly uh, from the factory come from the steel aluminium and copper and grass grey cast iron uh, made, uh, the bolt made from majority of this for material okay of course this is a toy they made for uh, children so okay uh, but most of them made from steel aluminium and copper and that's all for this video i hope you try to understand uh, and we see you in the next video we are talking about example 8.2 thank you very much